Minister Mahagat Kahirla can thank you, Minister, for coming into the House. Uh, the reason I asked you to come in to the House today was to give us an update on the proposed primary care centre for Bangareras. Now, I'm not sure if you've ever been to Bangareras in County Mayo. Um, it's, how could you describe it? It's, 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 on, the way, it's on the way into Bel Belmullet, but it is quite famous. But it's also famous for the wonderful doctor that we have there in Dr. Uh, Mikolas uh, Pen Penzance. And uh, he provides, and his team provide a wonderful service uh, to the community of Bangor. Uh, but for years, going back to 2000, 2001, we have been promised a fully equipped, proper primary care centre in Eris. And that centre uh, was to be situated in Bangor. And I know recently there has been some discussion on having it as part of the new tranche of primary care centres um, that were built, and some of them in Mayo, in Castlebar, and Westport, uh, and Clare Morris. So I want to know when that centre will be delivered. And it's particularly pertinent now because um, I know the community are fearful of losing the GP service that's there. And that GP service covers a vast area um, of Eris and a huge population. And we're left in limbo as to whether um, the doctor who has wonderful skills and a wonderful relationship with the community is going to be um, serviced, I suppose, with a primary care centre. And I think it would really help if you could give us some dates today as to when that project uh, will be commenced. Obviously, because of the overrun of the National Children's Hospital, that has escalated fears as well. But uh, I really need uh, the HSE and the Minister to really understand the urgency of having the primary care centre there because it is not right to have people who are elderly and people who are, I mean, we're all dependent on a proper GP service, but having that within the community. And I think that would go some way to allaying the fears of maybe the doctor moving on because there will be other opportunities provided that will become available to doctors such as the, as the GP uh, in Bangor and we don't want that to happen. So then trying to close the door after the horse has bolted uh, isn't good enough. So I look forward to your response today to some reassurance around when the primary care centre in Bangor Eris will be up and running. Thank you. Thank you Central Minister. I would like to thank Senator Conway Walsh for raising the issue. And the HCA confirmed that a needs assessment has been undertaken to determine what infrastructure is required within Bangor to most effectively deliver primary care services to the local community. I am happy to advise the Senator that this exercise has found that Bangor is a suitable location for the development of a primary care facility in the future. In that context, the business case is currently being prepared for consideration by HSE Estates Division, which is responsible for ensuring that appropriate infrastructure is in place when and where required and that the value of HSE properties and facilities is maximised. As the Senator may be aware, Bangor Aris Belmullet and Glenamoy are all part of the Bangor Aris primary care team, which utilises local health centres to support service delivery. In this regard, there is a health centre on the grounds of the district hospital in Belmullet, while there is also a health centre in Glenamoy, which has recently been refurbished. The expansion of community and primary care is at the heart of the Stand Care vision as a Minister of State with responsibility for mental health and older people. I share the commitment of the Minister for Health to make sure that people get the care they need as close to home as possible and have access to a greater range of health and social care services within their community. In this respect, I am sure the Senator would welcome the investment in primary care in County Mayo. There are now seven operational primary care centres in the county, three of which have opened in the past 12 months. The centres are located in Ackle, Balna, Balnrobe, Castlebar, Charlestown, Clare Morris and Westport. In addition, construction is due to begin this year on another primary care centre in Ballyhonis. This significant investment in Mayo is representative of this government's steadfast support for the development of primary care sector. There are now 126 primary care centres in operation across the country, 18 of which became operational in 2018. In addition, there are approximately 80 other locations where primary care infrastructure is either being developed or advanced or early planning stages. Of these, 12 centres are expected to become operational in 2019. We must and will continue to invest in the development of primary care centres across the country, 
but urban and rural areas. In this way, we will enhance and expand capacity in the primary care sector to deliver high-quality integrated care to people in their own communities. Gurmagat, uh, Minister, um, I am glad that the needs assessment has taken place, but I would tell you that the needs assessment actually took place 20 years ago. And I really would plead with you today to prioritise this primary care centre, uh, to understand the urgency of it, that it is no good if our GP, if the GP in Bangararis uh, leaves or, or is gone, then it isn't any good to us. So there is a real urgency. And I'd ask you maybe to go back and speak to the HSE around it. They fully understand the intricacies around it and how we need the, the services that are there within the centre in Bangor Eris, the, the health centre that's there, need to be there, but they need to see, they need to see a proper timeline. And this isn't, um, you know, the vagueness of this isn't, uh, isn't reassuring for people. So I would ask that you would maybe go back again. In terms of the investment in primary care, yes, there's wonderful buildings done and they're fantastic. But you know as well, Minister, that there's only one receptionist, extra staff employed in each of these. They need to be fully staffed as well and they need the full technology to be able to utilise the buildings in full. But I would ask you, to, for, for, I will be asking you for continuous updates on the Bangor Eris uh, Primary Care Centre um, because we just need more reassurance than that because preparing the business case, that disappoints me in a sense. And I'm also conscious that business cases often are left on people's desks for months and months and months on end and we don't have months and months here there is a real urgency about the Bangor Eris Primary Care Centre. Thank you. Cahirlik. Thank you. Um, Reed Cahirlik. Uh, good I would just like to inform the House that good progress continues to be made in the development and rollout of primary care centres, uh, contrary to what the Senate might be trying to point to there, with 126 now fully operational, which is up from 43 at the end of 2010. Indeed, there has been an incremental increase over the years, with eight coming on stream in 2016, nine in 2017, and 18 last year, a doubling of it uh, in 2018. These centres are playing a key role in delivering the vision for a reformed and more effective health service that is underlined in Sloan to Care. A further 12 primary care centres are expected to open in 2019, with at least another five to follow in 2020. Beyond that, 12 additional primary care centres are at the advanced planning stage, with operational dates to be confirmed. Mayo has benefited from significant investment, with seven centres operational and work on Ballyhawn is due to commence in the second quarter of this year. I am happy to convey that Bangor Eris has been identified as a suitable location for the development of a primary care facility in the future and that there will be due consideration of the business case developed. Thank you.